Hello to all traders and welcome back to another Market Insights video brought to you by Orbex. So we're looking at crypto today, Bitcoin and Ethereum having a really bad sell-off in the last few trading sessions, especially over the weekend. So uh, inflation seems to be quite a big turning point for a lot of the sell-off on Bitcoin, especially we've got the Jackson Hole Symposium coming up in the next couple of days, and that is going to give us a new direction for inflation, whether or not uh, the Fed is going to keep aggressively raising rates or if it's going to back down and kind of pull out a little bit on this aggression that we're going to probably see until the end of the year. So we've seen the biggest slump in Bitcoin since June the 18th. And this is also capitalized on the fact that we are now breaking the $21,000 barrier. So we were up to the mid 23500 not so long ago when we saw this sharp U-turn in the cryptocurrency after it did level uh, below uh, 19000 which was only a couple of weeks ago. But now we're seeing another leg lower. We'll look on the chart shortly. And not only that, Ethereum has actually slipped under 1600 yet again. So we're looking like a bit of a sell-off all round for a lot of the cryptocurrencies. So we'll see what is in store for the next leg. And what we can see here on Bitcoin is interestingly enough, after we broke out of this ascending channel that I was monitoring in the last few trading sessions quite dramatically, uh, we are now seeing a little bit of support just around the $20,000 area. But this has now been looked at as the fact that we are seeing this $21,000 being broken. So is 20,000 the next leg lower? We'll have to wait and see. But if we're looking at levels in general then we did find some strong support roughly about the $19,000 range but it was ranging uh, for quite some time around this $19,000 to $22,000 area and then we slipped into this ascending channel which was quite nice for bulls but we have now broken quite far out of it and with the assistance of the Ichimoku cloud which is what I usually use to see what the best uh, buy and sell positions would look like we have slipped out of this quite dramatically and now it could be a little bit of time before we get back to cloud engulfment and another leg higher so just be careful if you are looking to put in any bids in the next few trading sessions look on the four hour chart as well um it is more emphasized on the four hour chart, this dramatic uh, drop that we've seen in Bitcoin. But we have seen this drama in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in the past where we've had big moves and shakes in one trading session, losing over, you know, five, six thousand dollars in value. But then the next few trading sessions jumping higher. So this could be a case of another leg lower vast consolidation here as you can see and then possibly another leg higher which would give us back that $23,000 range so we'll wait and see what the next outcome is but however watch this consolidatory period here because the next break out of this particular level um, would see possibly confirmation and then the, the next leg in that direction so we're looking roughly about the higher end of 20,000 and the higher end of 21,000 so it is $1,000 range we could see this um, being very very active and possibly given the best opportunities as we can give uh, looking at ethereum as well as I said it has dropped out of um, I'll just remove these previous drawings quickly it has uh, again like Bitcoin <laughs> fallen dramatically and it has now uh, trading under 1600 which is quite a big psychological level not in the same region as Bitcoin though because for the Ichimoku indicator is trading above it so it could still tell us that we are in a bull market for Ethereum uh, it could just be a short sell-off before we get more consolidation and then another leg higher to these previous highs uh, roughly about the $2,000 range so with Ethereum we are looking a little bit different to Bitcoin obviously Bitcoin there's more traders in the market Ethereum is uh, a second string at the moment but as I said it is still looking to be in a bull market at the moment interestingly enough though if we look on the four hour chart and if I take these uh, drawings away if we look on the four hour chart as well I'll just pull that back so you can see the prices uh, we are now looking as I said a little bit like Bitcoin slight consolidation and then looking at the next leg either higher or lower with the four hour chart though we are looking 
that it has slipped through the Ichimoku indicator and prices are now trading on the downside. So with this being said, we are looking to see what the next move in the market is going to be. If it's going to be another consolidatory move and then higher. Uh, but all eyes are going to be on the Jackson Hole Symposium in the next couple of days to see what the Fed is going to give. Uh, it could affect not only cryptocurrencies, but forex pairs indices across the board uh, because it usually spells a lot of good rumors to be confirmed as well. So just keep an eye out for that. And we will obviously um, be in touch and let you know what the outcome is uh, in the next few trading sessions as it kicks off. And we'll see what <laughs> sorry if there's any surprises in store or if there's any good opportunities. So stay tuned with us and we'll speak again tomorrow. Bye for now.